What's up, YouTube? Today, I got some NBA 2K18 playing out online. I'm not going to talk too much about the gameplay. What I did want to talk about was the topic of rage quitting. More specifically, should I or anybody be rewarded for making someone rage quit? So, before we get into it, I just want to say this is my first video. Um, I don't anticipate this video getting a bunch of views, but if you do just so happen to watch the video, um, any kind of feedback would be appreciated. You know, a like, comment, let me know about the audio quality, the video quality, the editing, my commentary, anything like that. So, yeah, that's that, and let's get into it. So, Rage quitting is part of pretty much every online multiplayer experience. When someone's not having a good time, you know, they back out, find a new lobby, or find a new opponent to play against. And I don't really care anymore if someone rage quits against me. Like, it used to bother me, like, back in, like, 2K10, but now I don't even care. I actually prefer it nowadays. Games could be pretty time-consuming, so anything to cut down the amount of time that I have, that I'm playing, um, I'm with that. And plus, just give me my win, and I'll move on my merry way. But, um... The only thing I don't like is that you can't see the stats if someone rage quits against you. I didn't, I never really felt like I should be rewarded for making people quit until like 2K16. And that was when 2K first implemented the tier system. So if you beat a team that was a higher tier than you, you got like some bonus win. And I think you got extra VC as well. And I always used to play around with like different teams and everything but there was really no reason to before then. So when they implemented that system, I started using lower tier teams and I would play against the higher tier teams and I would win. And some some of those games ended in quits. And when someone quit, I would just get the win for making them quit. And I didn't get the extra wins. I don't know if I got the extra VC or not neither. And I can't say this was a huge problem, but it was definitely annoying. And I don't know if 2K just didn't know about it or they didn't know how to fix it or they just didn't care. And I don't know if it's still like that today because with how the matchmaking is, even if you pick um, default or um, within your tier only, you'll pretty much only play against teams within your tier. Like I probably played a team outside my tier probably like two times from what I can remember. And one of those times the game didn't even start so i don't know but that's when i started thinking like i should be rewarded for making them quit because more times than not when people quit sometimes like they do have to leave or something happens but most of the time people quit because they're losing and you know i just felt like i should be rewarded for that this will also apply for super max too like if you're beating someone by a lot of points and like you know they have no hope of winning or coming back and they quit you should get more points or more mt more something like you should be rewarded for your performance is what i'm trying to say but i did see another side to it because some people they don't quit because like they're losing or the person is better than them sometimes they quit because the person that they're playing against they're just annoying to play against or they're playing really cheesy and they just don't want to deal with them so they'll quit the game and if you reward people you know for making people quit then that might lead to more people playing cheesy or just trying to be annoying and not necessarily playing to win just playing to make the person quit also people do quit when they get matched up with another person that's using the same team as them which isn't really their fault that's 2k's fault and that's another thing that i could talk about in another video the mirror matches need to stop but back to rage quitting um i don't think that rage quitters should be punished in any way like if they want to leave then just let them leave i know like games have uh, implemented like a soft ban for you know people who rage quit too much and i think 2k did it once but i think it was only for the park and it really didn't work like people were still leaving anyways like they don't care so i think they just ended up taking it out which is fine just as long as you actually get the win because there have been times where someone would quit against you and you still end up getting the loss and i don't understand how that can happen but Anyways, I do think a lot of the time people quit prematurely. Like a lot of games that I've had, I would go up, you know, 10, 12 points in like the first quarter or even just the first half and people will quit. Like it's not the end. It's not the end of the world. Like I, I remember playing, you know, before I had Xbox Live playing against the computer when I was younger. And if I got down early, I just quit 
but as I got older and I got better and smarter and just started playing online more, I'm comfortable playing from behind. And it's not really that big of a deal. Like every, you know, they say basketball is a game of runs. Every team is going to make their run. So you just got to keep your cool and just keep taking smart shots and playing good defense and you'll get back into the game. So this video is almost over, but hold on. Let's listen into this defensive possession. Very good defensive possession right there. That's one of the best on-ball defensive possessions I have all year. Uh, the on-ball defense is something we could talk about in another video, but we get the easy layup. And he's out of here, so I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more content.